Hello students, how are you? It's Greenfield online class. You are warmly welcomed here. I am with you today to discuss a lesson from English textbook of grade 9. This is lesson number 1 in unit 5, The Greed of the Mighty Rivers. So this lesson is about an impoverished woman named Meherjan. First, I am reading out the phases. You must pay your good concentration and note down some information because after reading the phases you will have to answer some questions. Students, let's study the phases. And the first sentence in the phases, Mehrjan lives in a slum on the Shirazgan's town protection embankment. A fully thinned roof shelter looks like a case. She is nearly 45 but looks more than her age. In front of her shelter, she is trying to make a fire to cook the day's only meal. Students, from this sentence, we can understand that Mehrjan eats only one time in a day. Her weak hands tremble as she adds some fallen leaves and straw to the fire. The wish-bearing wind from the river Jamuna makes the fire unsteady. The dancing flames remind Mehrjan of the turmoil in her life. Not long ago, Mehrjan had everything, a family, cultivable land and cattle. From this sentence, we realize that, in the first, Mehrjan's condition was good. The erosion of the Jamuna gradually consumed all her landed property. It finally claimed her only shelter during the last monsoon. It took the river only a day to devour Mehrjan's house, trees and the bamboo bush. She had a happy family once. Over the years, she lost her husband and family to diseases that cruel hunger and poverty brought to the family. Now she is the only one left to live on with the loss and the pain. The greedy Jumuna has shattered her dreams and happiness. There are thousands others waiting to share the same fate like Mehrjan. Bangladesh is the land of rivers whose banks overflow or erode during monsoon. Erosion is a harsh reality for the people living along the river banks. During East Monsoon, many more places are threatened by the mighty rivers like the Jamuna, the Podda and the Meghna. It is estimated that river erosion makes at least 100,000 people homeless every year in Bangladesh. In fact, river reason is one of the main dangers caused by climate change. If we can't take prompt actions to adapt to climate change, there will be thousands of more mehrjans in our towns and places every year. This is the end of the phases. There is no alternative ways of gaining English without learning a large number of vocabularies. So let's practice some important words from these phases. First word is here, greed means selfish desire, hunger or demand, mighty, powerful or courageous, embankment, barriers or earthwork, tremble, quick, vibrate, unsteady, troubled, unsecured, turmoil, Unrest, great danger, cultivable, arable, erosion, decay, deterioration, consume, devour, shallow, or eat, estimate, calculate, or count, prompt actions, immediate steps, Students, now let's practice question item 1. Choose the best answer from the alternatives. First question, how does Mehrzan look? Beautiful, very thin, sad, aged. Among these four options is a word which will be the correct answer that you will have to find out. Number two, greedy Jamuna messes with 
instability, generosity, cruelty, charity. Number three, Mehjan's life was dashed before the destruction of the river Jamuna. Normal, abnormal, hateful, hazardous. Question number four in the item number one. The word arable is related to the word unsteady, agriculture, arise, entertainment. Number five. In the facets, the word arable means alternative, erosion, suitable for growing crops, Conveniences to live in luxury. Number six. Which is the closest meaning of the word effect used in the facets? Pollute. So, pollute. Change. Result. Up to date. Number seven and the last person in this item. What's the facets about? The greenhouse effect and its remedy, the effects of greenhouse gases, the reasons of emitting greenhouse gases, the introduction of the rivers. This is question item 2. Answer the following questions. Here the first question. What is the main cause of Mehrjan's misery? Number B. Which substances does she use to make fire for cooking meals? Question number C. How many times does she take meals in a day? Number D. How did Mehrzan's family members die? Question number E. And this is the last question in this item. What is going to happen in Mehrzan's life? Students, I'd like to facilitate a few questions. And the first question is, what's the main cause of Mehrjan's misery? Students, can you remember in the facets, we have read that Mehrjan had everything in the past. But the river Jamuna has shattered all her dreams and happiness. From this, we can easily understand that the main cause can be the river erosion. So you can arrange your answer from it. The second question is, which substances does she use in the heart while cooking meals? Students, in one sentence in the facets, we was reading that Mehrzan was trying to make a fire with some fallen leaves and straw. So, we can easily understand that what will be the answer of these questions. Students, finding out the information from the facets, you can write the answer like this this is the question item three fill in the gaps with the suitable words based on the facets students here you should choose on word for on gap a helpless woman named Mehrzan dash lives on the embankment in Shiraz Guns. this woman is devastated by the natural dash of Bangladesh in the first, she was dash good time, but the roaring river Jamuna dash her homeless. People should spread their helping hands to Mehrjan for her dash as human. Students, this is all for today. See you again in the next class tomorrow. Goodbye.